the second red. Martin Gould was German Masters champion the season before last. The German Masters has come round again next week. little shot this, this cut back. But judge the cannon nicely as well. 13. Martin Gould comes from Pinner, won the English Amateur Championship twice, plays not in special snooker glasses but in his ordinary everyday specs. used to be a croupier before he turned professional. No joy with that positional cannon on the cluster. Tried to cover the red nearest the left corner on the diagonal from the blue, but hasn't quite managed it. Six. 
good pot and even better to get back for an angle on the black. Came back a little bit too far as a matter of fact for black. Somewhat hampered by the red to the left of it. Attempted to leave the top red to left middle. But maybe this goes to left corner. Well, it did. But the pot failed. So Gould's still 29 in front. Very boldly selected shot, a cut back, holding nicely for black, and should clinch the frame now without any further trouble. Black and one more red required. I can tell you that Michael White is now leading Graham Dot 2 0. So 59 in front, only 51 left. Frames have been won from this kind of deficit, but not that often. Two four-point snookers to tie at the moment, assuming blacks from the three remaining reds.
That keyboard just ran and ran. And the consequence of that was that Google has put himself in an unassailable position. Wollaston concedes, Gould leads by a frame to nil. Brendan Moore is re racking the balls for the next frame. referee who has achieved the highest honour in the game, refereeing the World Championship final at the Crucible. As I said, Michael White has taken a 2-0 lead over Graham Dot on table one. That's a welcome scoreline for him since he lost his opening match this morning. 3-0 to Lee Hang. since a break. Containing safety. Not quite sure whether the end red is possible to right middle. If it is, it can be attempted with minimal risk. tough part and got very near it. Thin cut to Borg pocket is on. Could get on the black.
We'll open more reds now. Into the bunch now. Well, that was an attacking shot. There were two loose reds to the left corner that he could have played on. 22. But as long as he pots this red, the choice of shot will be justified. 23. It was pretty much a full pocket to go at, so Wilson will be very disappointed to have missed that. I was just hoping to tickle that cluster of three to develop those three reds into better positions. I don't know whether he's actually done that, but this is still promising.
This. Not good. Thirty seven. Hit the wrong ball. If he was trying to open the three, which I'm sure he was. Red to the yellow pocket, may go in off the yellow. The yellow two full on. A chance not fully exploited. Quite a clever safety that. Wilson safety produces a chance, though not all that easy a chance. To right middle. He turns it down. This cloth is slow, so responsive to spin. Gould was able to get the cue ball back behind the black with downward striking without having to hammer it. Disaster in terms of this frame. It gives Gould the easiest of starters from the D. One. It's still not a clear run to the line though. 
because of the two reds nearest the ball cushion. To clinch the frame at this visit, Gord will need one of the two awkwardly situated reds. Thirty-seven in front. Is, is this red possible? It was. Twenty-seven. It wasn't clear from that camera angle. Thirty-eight in front. Green to follow. multi-cushioned positional shot for the last red might have led to an in-off so very understandable that Gould played the green very conservatively Gould. 30. a 30 break which leads Wollaston needing two snookers a potting attempt but no problem yet good try to get a snooker behind the black if Wollaston pots this red there's no possibility of creating another one by means of a free ball wow. <laughs> well <laughs> don't quite know what he was attempting there whatever it was he concedes forthwith and Gould leads by two frames to nil
On table one, the match has moved on. Michael White's 2-0 lead over Graham Dot has been reduced to 2-1. Third frame. Martin Gould to break. It's all right as it happens, but Gould, I'm sure, was surprised to see the red, which is pretty nearest the right middle, spring back off the bunch. That red near the right middle may not be cuttable. I think it's just past the middle pocket as Gould looks at it. Got to be careful with his safety that he doesn't leave Wollaston a shot at it. Well, that's how you ensure that you play the next shot and not your opponent. Good pot. Very risky. Took a chance on position. Well, quite a lot hanging on that shot. It was an easy red either for Gould or his opponent. Hanging on that blue. Poor positional shot. Seven.
and Wollaston seven. So no significant score for Wollaston. Can't reach the red he wants to play. Without various combinations of long tackle. <laughs> the long spider extended. Extension on his own cue. Can he get decent position on the colour? Answer no. Was a very good potter, but didn't want to risk the yellow for position on the red in Bork. Opted for a safety covering that red. There is a long one that Wollaston can pot, though, albeit from tight on the Bork cushion. So Gould's choice of shot vindicated. Well, it would go. So that was a bad miss. He was pretty well right behind it. Three. 
How careless was that? And what was them for? Not easy to make a lot here. Twenty-two. So much for the comparatively easy reds. Can a cannon be played to one of the cluster of three? Wasn't on. Played, I believe, for a plant, which has got to be made. Twenty-eight. Thirty-five. So by potting this red, he hopes it will make the other one above it possible. Thirty-six. Not his intended position. Play to leave pink to right corner, I believe. Awkward cut back coming up. Too awkward as it turned out. Martin Gould, 39. And Gould was not sure either what was going to happen to the black and the red which was beside it. Nevertheless, Gould leads by 34.
a safety from Wollaston bringing, bringing both reds away but he's left this long one as a, pot, as a possible Long way out. Gould could win the frame without moving the red away from the blue. Wollaston can't. Well, that was the snag. The potting angle on the one red was a natural angle for a cannon on the other. But as it happens, Gould has done his chances no damage. Wollaston didn't intend to send the red into the yellow, but he's got the cue ball where he wanted to. Well, worth a try, difficult as it was. Couldn't leave anything else.
far from this. Come on, listen for. While the safety jaw proceeds, I can tell you that Graham Doss has come from 2-0 down to Michael White to level the match at 2 all and leads 24-0 in the decider. Be a good shot. Cue ball tight up against the blue. This protracted tactical duel continues. Wilson's got him again. about the fourth time that Gould has had to play a shot like this. Oh, that was cruel. That was cruel. Martin Gould. It was a good pot, and it was completely unforeseen that he should knock the green into that pocket. Oh, 
Dr. Williston's foul. Gould has exercised his option of putting him in again. May have brought the red out a little bit too far. I'm not quite sure. In any case, there's a lot of distance between cue ball and red, which may or may not be potable. And if he doesn't pot it, he can easily disturb the other red. Gould's advantage grows to 35. Bramble. If he can pot a colour, Mullison would need a snooker, but there wasn't a colour available. Potting Gould. Urging the cue ball on. So a chance for Wollaston to pull this frame out of the fire. Red, black, and all the colours to tie. One. Played with strong left of centre striking. Which at least gives him a shot at the brown. That was the best he could do in terms of position for blue. Blue not very far from the pocket but on the cushion. Definitely missable this. So now the question becomes, is the blue cuttable for gold?
frame and match ball. It was tough though, it was really tough. The blue, despite the greater distance, a little bit easier for Wollaston this time round. But he's not only got to get on the pink, but he's got to get from pink to black. Again, though, it was tough. And he managed to avoid a match losing in off by a fraction. Intended to contact that from behind, but in fact hit the blue twice. Wollaston does drop the ping in the middle. Still a tough shot for Black. And even the ping and Wollaston fine. wasn't easy. Gould needs one of the two remaining colours to win. Wollaston needs them both to tie. This is the sort of shot where your prime consideration must be to get the object ball safe. Pink was cuttable, but it was a difficult shot. And in the end, Wollaston can't be too displeased with the outcome. The pink coming back off both bork pocket jaws and finishing on the bork cushion. And in it goes. Six, <laughs> that was a hard-fought frame, but Martin Gould has won.